We got a lot of fan questions because we, okay, we sure. posted it and we're like, we're going to sit with me. I, I love this question, Fernanda, by the way, Fernanda. Do you have any idea or do you have in your head what the last scene of One Tree Hill is going to look like? And, and I'm, not, I'm not saying season, like what season is it going to be or whatever, but right. how do you see the show closing? Yeah, I, I actually do. Really? Um, awesome. And I, I had it, I probably had it after I wrote the pilot. Oh. Wow. Um, not knowing how far we would go, not out lo knowing how long the journey would take, um, but there is a tone mm -hmm. that I have in mind for the end of the show. And whether or not it will be the specific scene, because sometimes we've been very accelerated and we've gotten to places I didn't even think we'd get okay. as soon as we got there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so I'm, I'm not right, sure. Uh, the, there are shades of the scene that I had in my head that are still there, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the tone is still very consistent with what I want it to be. Okay. So that's a great question. Yeah, yeah. STF, thank you for your question too, by the way, wants to know, what, what do you think of the Brookus and Layton? There are two very passionate camps. Mm -hmm. There's Lucas and Brooke. There's Lucas and Peyton, and, exactly. and don't think I don't know it. <laughs> exactly. I think so, I think sometimes one camp thinks they're being ignored, uh -huh. i.e. Lucas and Brooke, uh -huh, uh -huh, in the name because, of Lucas and Peyton. Right. And I think but most it's four fans, years later. Exactly. Wow. I think most fans think that I'm sort of stubbornly clinging to an idea I had for the show, uh -huh. and that's actually not true. Okay. Um, you heard it. Do I think that uh, Lucas and Peyton were designed as soulmates? and destined to be together, well, there was a lot of that, uh -huh, sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do, do I insist that that's the journey that we will absolutely take? No, right. it's not. And do I acknowledge that Lucas and Brooke and Chad and Sophia have great chemistry? Uh -huh. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely they do. So there's, you'd never say never with any of this. Right. But that, like you said, there are also all kinds of other things that enter into that picture. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, um, you know, look, Chad and Sophia get along wonderfully. Right. But Good. they were That's married. Right. right. I think you have to understand that first and foremost, we're all human beings. And right. we, you know, they are wonderful at creating characters mm -hmm. and playing mm -hmm. roles. And there, there was a lot of talk about I, they said they wouldn't do this or that. No actor on the show has ever said no. Okay. To I, I insist on not doing anything. We have. Is that because of, you're Iron Fist? You know what? <laughs> As you can tell, there's not much of an Iron Fist around no, yeah, here. Like What's wonderful about our cast is that after a hundred episodes, uh -huh. it's become so much of a family. Right. And there are so many acts of kindness the fans don't see. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, we will sit down as a family would. Uh -huh. and say, let's talk about our family, so, and let's talk about what's going to make yeah. us all happy, right, right. and let's talk about what's creatively going to excite you, mm -hmm. and you, mm -hmm. and you this year, because it's 22 and episodes, and while we all acknowledge we have a wonderful opportunity to do it again, mm -hmm. and we do, mm -hmm. we also know that that makes for a long, passionate, emotional year. Right, right. And let's figure out how we all can be creatively enthused to do this together. And pretty much that's been the case here. And I think that's how you get to 100 episodes. I agree. I agree. Congratulations yeah. on the 100 episodes. And Thank speaking you. of family, this has felt like a very much like a family experience. I hope so. Everybody I hope so. You, know, you can get a sense of it when you're here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, some I interviews that go good and some interviews that go great. And yeah. I'm having a great time. I, I, I'm glad. I really, Thank you very I really much. feel like that's the case here, and I, I love it when people respond to it because they say, "Wow, it's really great here, and you guys all seem to be having fun." And right. and I said, you know, for the most part, that's how it is. Your fans <laughs> brought us here. Yeah, how great is that? And Jason C, hit us up on the CW source for more exclusive interviews behind the scenes, One Tree Hill. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right.